All right, well, we have some guests who need help. Our next guest needs your help. I'd like to show you a clip, okay? okay? Let's take a look. My name is Mary Ann, and I've been married to Victor for the last 22 years. Our marriage is great. Our marriage is complicated. One of the times we were separated, I found out that he was on a dating website. Trust is very important in marriage. I'd love to know if he's being truthful with me. If she's hiding money or if she's putting money aside that I don't know about. I'm going to be interviewing Marianne and Victor. A any investigation always starts with the same first step, which is getting a baseline. I'm looking for when they change from that baseline. That's what we call a hot spot. That's where the truth lies. Well, when we were separated, a friend of mine had put me on a dating site, and Marion had found it like two years into us being back together. I says, yeah, that is my profile, but I've never been on it since we were back together, ever. Do you think you're a good liar? <laughs> do, you, do I think I'm a good liar? Yeah. On certain things, I mean, uh, no, I don't think I'm a good liar. Is there a secret stash of money that no. he's not aware of? From the money he gives me from the bills, absolutely not. I would actually be able to show him dollar for dollar what, you know, the deposits and the bills, and I would ha I have no problem. And I've done that, so. Okay. Oh. Well, hi, Marianne. We're here with Marianne and Victor. So I just watched that. Janine was on before. And I think you gave us a tip last time that if you ask a question and the person answers with the question back. That's a that's, stalling technique. That's a stalling technique? Right. So he said, she said, do you think you're a good liar? And you said, do I think I'm a good liar? Does that mean the person's lying or it's just a stalling technique? It's a stalling technique. It's up to me to investigate or people at home when you're watching, if someone repeats the question, it's a hot spot, you have to investigate. You know, it's I want, giving them a minute to think about what they're going to am say. Am I going to tell the truth? Am I going to lie? If I am going to lie, what am I going to say? But I got, I, I'd love to start with Marianne with the money right out of the gate. You give a disclaimer, a verbal disclaimer. With the money my husband gives me, I can account dollar for dollar. That's called offering evidence before it's asked. I wasn't very specific about money. I, my question was, is there a hidden bank account? And you fell apart. You were a hot mess. You were doing tongue protrusions. Your tongue was coming out. A, a tongue protrusion is a little kid goes, na, 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 na. And so when we stick wow. out the tongue as an adult, it's often a sign of deception. It means there's an increase in stress and anxiety. You started to get emotional on me yesterday. So is there something more? Do you have hidden money in the house? I do. Do? I do. I do. I do. We've been separated before, and I always needed just a little bit just in case it happened again. Not to have nothing. I only, you know, made $200 a week, and a little bit of that always went to this little fund just in case. Why are you getting emotional? She's an emotional. Oh, look person. at him, he's sticking up for you. So, he's so, for so you. let me ask you a question. Did you feel like you didn't want to tell him that because that means that you're not in a partnership? You don't want him to feel like that's all, that you're not committed? I knew it would be gone. I knew if I told him, there would be no money there. Why would you not allow her to have her own money? That I don't allow her. We would probably spend it. Do you feel that that's deceptive or you feel that that's just her being protective of herself? Just being protective and for a good cause. And, and that's all I have. Like, we've been separated so many times How many times that... have you been separated? Three. You've been separated three. In how many? In 22 years. So, Bethany, this is, this is the concern for the people at home. When you notice this behavior, look at the tongue's out again. Increase in stress and anxiety. The tongue is popping out here. If you see a hot spot, if, you're, if your hair's going up in the back of your neck, you're like, there's right. something they're not telling me. Yes. Be careful of thinking it's the opposite of what they're saying. And that's it.